Good morning, degenerates, and welcome to another episode of Boring Crypto IO. My name is not important, and I'm your host. This is where you get the news, as boring as it is per usual, where I do nothing more than just read it to you, so you don't have to. That being said, guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. Embattled crypto firm FTX wants to sell its functioning units, including Ledger X. Binance proof of reserves auditor Mazers pauses all work for crypto clients. And Bitcoin dips under 17000 as craziest rumors over Binance sink BTC price. I'm not as sure that's why it's tanking, but who knows anymore. And guys, just a little bit of house cleaning before we get started. Please, by all means, if you enjoy this content that I'm putting out, like the videos, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell for notifications, all that normal stuff we ask you guys to do as YouTube content creators. So let's look at the charts, guys. Okay, yesterday, like I told you, we were forming this ascending channel that are normally a bearish pattern, and we did definitely break out of it. Blood in the streets, red everywhere. We are sitting roughly at about 17,000 right now. We did find support, guys, at my 16,940, 17,000 uh, support level that I have drawn here that I've had up for quite some time. Let's see if it holds. If it doesn't, next step I'm looking at is 16,503, 16,500, whatever you want to call it. Again, guys, everybody thought this was going to be a big rally. I, I don't see a lot of strength personally. We'll see what happens. ETH. What is ETH doing? Same thing, guys. Blood in the streets. Couldn't hold that 1340. Didn't even hold on the 12.9, 1300. And we are breaking down. Not bullish at all, guys. Not bullish at all. We'll see where ETH finds support. Possibly. Possibly right around here, which was originally resistance. And we'll see if that holds. If not, you know, we're going down to $1,000, maybe lower. Who knows? boring per usual all right guys first story embattled crypto firm ftx wants to sell its functioning units including ledger x ftx filed for bankruptcy last month reporting it has more than 10 billion in liabilities they are trying to liquidate y'all crypto exchange ftx petitioned a federal court for permission to sell several subsidiaries on thursday including u.s based derivatives wing ledger x in a document filed to the bankruptcy court of delaware attorneys for ftx said it was a priority for the company's current management to explore the sell or find other strategic transactions for certain subsidiaries based on the preliminary review debtors own or control a number of subsidiaries and assets that are regulated licensed and or largely not integrated into the debtors of operations within and outside of the united states the filing said the debtors believe a number of these entities have solvent balance sheets independent management and valuable franchises these units include ledger x which also did business as ftx us derivatives ftx japan ftx europe and embedded business most of these entities were acquired by ftx relatively recently meaning they were operated largely independently of their global parent as such their assets and funds remain segregated from ftx unlike some of the company's other subsidiaries in congressional testimony ftx's new ceo john ray iii said that even companies purportedly segregated from ftx like ftx us were not actually independent FTX filed for bankruptcy last month, saying in filings it had over $10 billion in liabilities. Dozens of bids. FTX wants to sell these units quickly. Many have had their operating license suspended since FTX itself filed for bankruptcy. The debtors and or businesses have been in active conversations with a number of regulators for the businesses. The licenses held by FTX Europe have been suspended along with its operations, and FTX Japan is subject to business suspensions and business improvement orders. The longer operations are suspended, the greater the risk to the value of the assets and the risk of a permanent revocation of licenses. FTX has already received dozens of unsolicited more than 100 bids for the companies, the filing said. If the sales are approved, interested parties could bid for the different units. Suggested possible bid dates for the various entities ranging from February to March. Preliminary bid dates stretch from mid-January to early February. By these dates, aspiring purchasers would have to submit various documents verifying both their interests and their ability to bid for the businesses at auction. Bidders will also need to verify the ability to secure regulatory approval for the sales. If a would-be bidder navigates these hurdles, FTX would request hearings in March in front of a bankruptcy court. Approving these sales would benefit FTX creditors, the filing said. A sound business purpose for the sale of a debtor's assets outside of the ordinary course of business exists where such sales is necessary to maximize and preserve the value of the estate for the benefit of creditors and interest holders. I know, guys, what do you guys think about this? Are they trying to liquidate? As well as, if someone buys this and they don't just sell it off, do you think that if they continue to run with, with uh, an FTX, I guess an old FTX business model or FTX name, do you think people would 
get back into it? Would it be successful or do you think people would be wary of it? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Next story, Binance Proof of Reserve Auditors Mazars pauses all work for crypto clients. This is where everybody is rumoring that the, the pullback in Bitcoin has come from because it's more FUD for Binance uh, and other crypto uh, exchanges that have been audited. The, the same thing that the rumors that I'm hearing right now, guys, is that either A, uh, Mazars Mar Mazers? Mazers? saw something behind the scenes that they didn't like, so they backed the hell out. They're like, no, we don't want to, we don't even want to be near this stuff. Or the heat they were getting for, for the audits they were doing because it was kind of lackluster. I guess they weren't showing as much uh, inside um, stuff that people wanted to see. And I don't know if that's why we're getting a pullback in the market, but you know, I, I, there's been a lot worse FUD that hasn't done anything to the market lately. I think we're just we're just on that next leg of the bear market. We're going to go down a little bit more before we finally find that real bottom. But I digress. Let's move on. Mazars has deleted Binance proof of reserve assessment, which found its Bitcoin reserves were over collateralized. Mazars, the auditing firm working with Binance and other crypto exchanges on proof of reserve statements, has paused all work for crypto clients, Binance said in an email statement. Mazars has indicated that they will temporarily pause their work with all of their crypto clients globally, which includes Crypto.com, KuCoin, and Binance. Unfortunately, this means that they will not be able to work with Mazars for the moment. The suspension was reported earlier by Bloomberg. The accounting firm formed a proof of reserves assessment of Binance earlier this month, finding its Bitcoin reserves were over collateralized. The link to the report of Mazars website no longer works. The auditor also found that KuCoin's BTC, ETH, USDT, and USDC reserves were all over collateralized. This report is also no longer available. Mazars' assessment of Crypto.com's reserves found them to be fully backed one to one. Crypto exchanges came under pressure to provide proof of reserves in the wake of the collapse of FTX, a once dominant exchange that went bankrupt last month with former CEO Sam Bankman fried now in custody in the Bahamas on charges of wire fraud and conspiracy to commit money laundering, among others. Mazars was not immediately available to respond to Coindesk's request for further commitment for further comment. Yeah, guys, I don't know, man. Fud, fud, fud. Welcome to, like I said, the craziest bear market I, I have witnessed. Personally, I've been trading on KuCoin. I get in, I get out. I put my tokens on a a ledger hardware wallet when i'm done the only time i'm ever on an exchange right now is when i'm doing an open trade or have a buy order open guys strongly recommend it don't stay on exchanges who knows who's gonna go belly up next i don't know if any will but everything just kind of seems shady right now not your keys not your coins simple as that and the last story guys before i get the crap out of here for friday bitcoin dips under seventeen thousand as craziest rumors over binance sinks to btc price yeah i don't know if that's it but we'll see bitcoin traders stay wary over binance fud triggering overly bearish bitcoin price action bitcoin fell below seventeen thousand on december 16th as traders warned of overreaction to fud involving exchange binance and others binance fud fuels bearish btc moves Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView followed BTC USD as it put in multi day lows of 16,928 on Bitstamp. The pair retraced its entire run to one month highs courtesy of the latest macroeconomic data and policy update from the United States. Amid ongoing concerns over the solvency of the largest global exchange, Binance, market sentiment showed what traders argued was a clear case of cold feet. The evidence they suggested simply did not stack up in Bear's favor. The craziest rumors and FUD going around on literally everybody in the crypto exchange business, Michael Vandepoop, founder and CEO of trading firm 8, tweeted on the day. A further post expanded on who those players are. Apparently, the consensus is that Tether, Binance, DCG are all going to fail. Potentially even Michael Saylor. Clear. Got it. I don't know. Guess sound, this sounds like so much FUD, guys. It, could it happen? Yes, anything could happen in crypto, but this sounds like such FUD. I don't think Tether's going to go under. I don't think Binance is going to go under. I don't think Michael Saylor is going to go under. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. It's just, it really seems, if that happens, it'd be very, very bad. We'll just leave it at that. It, it seems super far-fetched. Trade, trade smart, guys. Um, that's all I really can say. Fellow trader and analyst Crypto Ed sounded equally skeptical drawing attention to Bitcoin's copycat come down in line with US equities the day prior. Interesting to see everybody suddenly so bearish on BTC as if it's solely acting so weak. SPX is doing exactly the same, maybe even weaker, he told followers, querying whether the Binance FUD really had a role to play. An examination of Binance's previous proof of reserve statement. Meanwhile, on-chain analytics platform CryptoQuant likewise found little evidence of foul play. Why is the crypto market down today? To evaluate the information contained in Binance's proof of reserves report, we compared the liabilities presented by Binance in the report 
to the on-chain metric data we have at CryptoQuant regarding Binance's BTC reserves, our estimation of the deposits made by Binance's customers, it explained in a blog post on December 15th. We discovered that the liabilities stated by Binance are highly similar to our assessment. It added that the data Binance supplied about its liabilities makes sense. No amount of reassurance was enough to console Bitcoin price action on the day. However, with 17,000 barely holding at the time of writing, Popular trader Crypto Tony thus announced entry of the next wave down for the bears amid ongoing predictions of a cycle low at 12,000 or under. BTC all is expected. If we consolidate for a while above 16.9, I will open along. Still patient for now. Fellow trader Lizzie wrote in a fresh quote. Well, guys, there you have it I, again. And it is Friday. It's the weekend. We all know how weird and volatile the market could get uh, on the weekends. I say be safe out there. I would wait to see if we get any kind of strength in the market before opening up any trades, but that's just me. I'm a really conservative trader. Um, and I don't like, I do not like to trade during the weekends. It is always weird, but guys, that's it for the show today. I hope you enjoy this content. If you do, please, by all means, guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys Monday morning, bright and early for another boring crypto IO news update. It's Friday. I'm out of here.